Hey there folks, it's Lane with Windows10Update.com and today I want to teach you how to set up an application so that every time you boot your system that application will launch automatically. Now this isn't something that you will want to do for applications that do take a lot of memory and you certainly don't want to have this happen with a lot of different applications but there may be certain applications that you want to start automatically because perhaps it's a messaging application and you don't want to miss messages. So let me go ahead and show you one thing before we get started here. And that's in the task manager. So you can actually go into the task manager and go to the startup tab and you can see that certain applications are being forced to start automatically already. So like Google Chrome for instance here, this is automatically starting each time my system starts up. Now I may or may not want that to happen, uh, but that's what's going on here. So, but if there's a particular application that you want to force to automatically start, um, you have that option as well. So what you would want to do is navigate to the location uh, where that file or that where that program is stored. So let's say I want to have the Photoshop application launch every single time I start my system. Now you'll notice it's not listed as an available option here, but I can force that. So what I can do is I can say open file location and so I have the application here. Next I want to say copy. What we want to do next is say hold down the window key and then press R. So that's command run and then we want to say shell colon startup. So then we'll say OK. And what this does is it takes me to the startup folder. Now you can see I do have a couple of applications automatically starting here already. So in my video on Friday, I talked about how to create a WhatsApp web app and a Google Hangouts web app. And what I'm doing is I'm forcing these to start automatically so that I don't miss those messages. I also have a Telegram uh, Windows 10 app installed and that one does start automatically. Just that's actually something that's in the app's settings. So that's why that is showing up in the uh, task manager as being an option. So now if I want to say, basically have Photoshop start automatically every time I start my system, I can just go ahead and paste that shortcut there. And that's all I have to do. Now each and every time I load up my system, whether it's rebooted or you know whatever, whether it's just shut down and then started back up at some point, these applications will automatically start along with the ones that are in the task manager as well. So again, the reason that you do this, you know, it may depend on uh, what programs or what sort of software you want to have running in the background. It's particularly useful, I found, with messaging because then I don't have to uh, kind of remember each time I boot up my system to open those messaging applications so that I can receive notifications. So if you have a maybe a specific email application even that you like to use um, that is, you know, perhaps Microsoft Outlook or something else other than the default kind of Windows 10 mail app that we have here, that would may maybe be a good application to uh, force the startup on. Now I do want to point out that this will only work for Windows 10 Win32 or desktop applications, not Windows 10 apps or WinRT, Windows Universal applications. Uh, the way that those apps work is just entirely different. So as far as I'm aware, there's not a way to force any of those to start up automatically. But many of them do have background processes that run automatically, like the weather app, the email app. Those do have processes. Uh, even the Xbox app, if you have notifications turned on, it will start up in the background automatically. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys.